Should I say anything about the purpose of the video when it's released? Okay, so what we're looking at here is a linear magnetic motor. And uh, we're just looking at the uh, apparatus, this, the stator assembly, as it were. And uh, what we have is a, an array of uh, neodymium magnets, quarter inch by quarter inch by one inch magnets, stacked up into these little wings or veins, uh, seven magnets each. They look like dominoes. And they're glued to pieces of plexiglass to hold them in place and hold them at the right angle. And many of them are bonded together with epoxy. It looks like paint on the outside. Uh, that just helped in the assembly process. It's not really critical to the function. Um, we have, so we have these uh, stacks of angled magnets, the ones that look like dominoes, on either side of this track. The track is uh, just two sheets of plastic that keep the uh, shuttle magnet from sticking to the... Uh, the uh, magnets on either side, the stator magnets. Okay, so this is a this is just taking a view underneath, so you can see what's going on underneath, and all you see is the uh, ends of the bolts and the fasteners holding the array together. This is a, a freestanding independent unit. There's no wires or it's not connected to anything. It's just sitting on a desk. One end up on a box, the other end anchored by a book, just to give the slope to, for some drama of the demonstration here. Okay, so now this is a shuttle magnet. It's a, a quarter inch by quarter inch by one inch long neodymium magnet. Um, it's polarized. Uh, the uh, north is my thumb and the south is my index finger, or perhaps vice versa. And the polarity of the shuttle magnet here is opposite the polarity of the uh, stator magnets and uh, we uh, send this get ready to send this shuttle magnet up through this slot in the middle here there's a sweet pot spot in the slot if i hold the shuttle magnet to the top here it wants to pull down to the middle the the middle line of the uh, the separating pieces of plastic if i push it down it wants to lift up it just wants to hang out right here where my fingers are and there's a distinct pull on my fingers it wants to leap into the slot and uh, I'll leap in, I'll, I'll set it leap in when we're ready. Okay, and uh, now I've got the shuttle magnet in the sweet spot and I'm going to let go of it. And we see it shoots right to the top of the track, stops uh, uh, just a little bit past the last set of magnets and bounces back and just stalls between the, the last two sets of uh, stator magnets. Okay, and now we are going to uh, demonstrate the magnet shooting straight up, uh, see how far it goes all the way up. I'm going to start as far down as I can and release the shuttle magnet. Ready to get set, go. And the shuttle magnet goes uh, about two-thirds of the way to the top, going vertically straight up. I'm going to pick it up and just turn it around, show that it's a, a freestanding piece of hardware here, not tied into anything. And uh, turning it this way, I'm going to uh, pull our shuttle magnet out again. You want to just stop while I do that? Retrieve the shuttle magnet. Take it right down to the end. Feed. So now in this configuration, we have the wings facing the other direction. The wings are uh, pointing downhill looking like the feathers on an arrow or something and uh, we're going to take the shuttle magnet and drop it down and see if it goes any farther with uh, a gravity assist a moderate gravity assist we've only got this piped up here about 10 10 12 15 degrees and I take the shuttle magnet and release and it goes all the way to the end and stalls again um, between uh, the last two magnets last two pairs of magnets Okay, so now we, uh, we're just showing that we have the, uh, the assembly pointing downhill, as it were. And uh, we're going to do uh, uh, one more pass with the shuttle. We're going to send it uphill backwards. <laughs> uh, 
and just demonstrate how the magnet, the shuttle magnet, likes to travel even this direction. Maybe a little bit less robustly than the other direction, but uh, a significant amount of force nevertheless. And here we go. There, it stalled. Uh... Go ahead. Okay. So, uh, in closing, we want to uh, declare uh, very explicitly that the purpose of shooting this video is to expose this the uh, principles that seem to be evident here to the public. We're issuing uh, this geometry, this design information, into the public domain for the purpose of uh, many, many, many people or groups developing these principles even further. We're showing that there seems to be, uh, there's a distinct potential of, of continuous undending magnetic power in um, in this linear motor, all it would need to make all it needs to be done to make this uh, so-called perpetual or continuous motor is uh, to connect the ends. That could be done by arcing the geometry. Yeah, so we're we're releasing this into the the uh, public domain um, uh, with all the intents and uh, benefits of a general public license. This is not for patent. This is not to be. Um, uh, bought up or buried by anybody but it's to be it's being issued into the public domain call it copyleft um, this is uh, information to be is being contributed to the commons and uh, more information can be found at the website perpetualmotors.com